Hello everybody, this is uh, Evan Rogers with Evan's Easy Japanese. Check me out at www.evanseasyjapanese. We're doing kanji lesson number two. Um, I made a Facebook channel for uh, a Facebook page for my website. However, I don't think there's going to be much posted there, at least not yet. Um, that's number one. Number two is I'm planning on making some games. I guess there's a program called the RPG Maker. I'm trying to make some games with that. And uh, to actually practice Japanese and have fun at the same time. Woo woo. Um, working on more lessons, of course. Busy man, not much time. Uh, I hope that you can at least like the video. Subscribe if you want to learn more Japanese and get my videos when they come out. Uh, please donate. Uh, also, check out the resources page, especially today we're doing kanji, so getting a kanji dictionary is highly recommended. Check out the resources page and, uh, you know, something you see interesting there. Uh, check it out, buy it, you know, etc, etc. And here we're going to begin. Today we're learning these six kanji. Out of these six, five are their own radical. We'll get into a brief discussion about radicals soon. Okay, so the first one we're doing today is the ta of tabemas. The verb tabemas means to eat. So, whenever you, this is a good kanji to know so that you know where to eat in Japan. You go to Japan, see this kanji, something to do with food. This has to do with food. Um, so, you're, some of you are completely new to kanji, probably many of you are. You're going to ask, well, what's the kanji for bemas? There is none, there is none. Verbs follow this pattern. Only the first few characters generally get the kanji, okay? This is ta of tabemas. Here's the stroke order. One, two, I'm drawing at a weird angle, apologize my hideosity, hideousness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, bring that hook, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is an important kanji, it is its own radical. First off, it has nine strokes, and it is radical number 184. Radical number 184. If you don't know what radicals are, right now it's not important. It will be in the future. Uh, we're going to discuss it at the end of the video. Moving on. Next up, we have hito, which means person. Anytime you're talking about a person, you're probably going to see this kanji, or at least a radical of that sort. One of its radicals. Or, I mean, it is a radical, but the radical has many forms. I'm sorry, I'm getting confusing. Uh, this radical has two, three forms? I figured off the top of my head. I should have done more research. Dirt. Uh, figure it out yourself. Go to the resources page and get your own kanji dictionary. If you're beginning, I recommend the red book. I'll bust it out. Here's the red book. Uh, this thing's about 20 years old. It's lasted a long time. Or, if you want to be the hardcore, only buy one kanji book for the rest of your life, there's a blue book. I, the blue book and the red book are both good. Apparently there's a kanji app... Can you still hear me? Blah, 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 blah. Apparently there's a kanji app called Imiwa that you can get for... Um, it's like an online appli a uh, iPhone application that has kanji and also... Um, what it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a dictionary. Um, I haven't tested it out too much, but one of my students showed it to me and it seems pretty decent. Imiwa. Type in I-M-I-W-A. And it should appear, I think. Back in my day, we ain't got no apps. Yeah, I'm bald. Okay, this is, back to this, this is hito. It means person. Anytime you're talking about persons, you're, you're going to have this kanji nearby. This kanji has many radical shapes, and it also has many uh, readings. We're only doing one today, okay? Sorry, just deal with the one with the one pronunciation. Hito means person. Stroke order, really easy. One, two, two, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uh, it has two radicals, I'm sorry, it has two strokes. It is radical number nine in these books. These are the big books. Uh, they're very popular. Alright, moving on. Boom, next one up we got, uh, this is the kanji for big. Something's big. It looks like a dude standing like that. You can't see my legs, but they're spread. Kind of like a dude. Hi, I'm some guy and my hands are spread out. Here's my big old feet. It means, uh, big. So anytime you talk about something big, you might see this radical. 
In the word big, the word big is O ki. This kanji represents the two O's of O ki. Okay? Nothing more, nothing less. O ki. It has three strokes and it is its own radical. It is a radical, it's the big radical. We're not gonna worry about what the radicals are called yet. Radical number 37. Let's draw it out together, shall we? It's real easy peasy. Oh, it's a different color. Just draw over it. We got our one, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, two, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, three, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Three strokes. It's a three stroke kanji. Three stroke radical, three stroke kanji. Word. All right, next we got the opposite of big. Now we're doing small. Here's the kanji for small. Three strokes. It's, it is its own radical. You'll see it frequently with its number radical 42. When you're looking up in your kanji dictionary that I highly recommend getting, uh, number 42. This is chi-sai. The word for small is chi-sai. This is the chi-e in chi-sai. The sai part does not have its own kanji, just like oki. I forgot to mention that. The ki-e part of oki does not have a kanji. So, chi-sai. Word. Let's draw it together, shall we? One. Two. Three. Perfect. I want to highlight that hook. Important. Kids get yelled at for not doing that in Japan. Don't get yelled at if you're in Japan. Okay, next one up. Alright, we're on to the next kanji, which is to speak. Iimasu. Iimasu. This kanji, however, only covers that first E. A little bit annoying. Uh, deal with it. Sorry. Iimasu. To speak. Whenever we're talking about speaking, you might see this kanji. It has seven strokes. It is its own radical. It's radical number 149. Get into the big numbers. Some of you might see this kanji, for those who are a little bit advanced. I might see the kanji for mouth here. Which, you know, you're basically right. That is the radical for mouth in there. However, um, it's, its own, it's its own radical. Uh, sorry, it is. Alright, let's draw it together. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, nana. Word. Basic rule for kanji once again. Top left, bottom right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, moving on up, moving on up. All right, last kanji we're doing today. Sorry, it's only six. <sighs> okay, <laughs> this is ima, the kanji for now. When you're talking about something happening now or in some way referencing now, you're gonna see this kanji. For example, the word today has it. Um, off the top of my head, I'm not going to bother thinking up more. I think Kessa this morning also has a blah, 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 blah. Things like that. This year has a skanji. Anyway, Ima is the pronunciation we're learning today. This one has four strokes in it. It is not its own radical. The radical that it has, we just learned today. The person radical is its radical. Number nine. If you look hard enough, this is what radicals are. If you look hard enough, you'll see that we kind of have a little person on top. Truly beep be do. That is essentially the kanji that we learned earlier today. The kanji for person, hito. This is the person kanji. This is one of person's many forms when it's a radical. This is one of its many radicals. All right, let's draw this kanji together. Ichi, ni, san, shi. And you got yourself Ima. Radicals. So you're looking through a book, you come across Mr. Crazy Kanji that you've never seen before, which, if you've only done my lessons, is probably a crap ton of kanji that you haven't learned before, except there's 12. Um, so you come across a kanji you haven't learned before, you need to identify radicals. It's very difficult. Sometimes the radicals are hidden. Lord knows I'm still trying to find radicals in kanji I should know. I'll try to read a kanji that I've known for a long time, but it's got a strange meaning, or a strange uh, reading. You know, kanjis have more than one pronunciation. We haven't encountered any yet. Well, we have encountered them, but we haven't given you more than one pronunciation yet. And I'll look them up, and I can't find them in the kanji dictionary because I can't for life me find that radical. So, just to show you what we're talking about, 
Here we have a kanji that we have not taught yet. Many of you might recognize it, and people who speak Japanese, I'm sorry, who, uh, who study Japanese, maybe even a li little bit more outside of this class, might have seen this before. This is the kanji for language. For language, for example, Eigo is English, Nihongo is Japanese. You might have already guessed Go is how to pronounce this kanji, at least in one of its ways. Alright, I want you to try to look at this and think about organize the kanji with me. There's generally three parts to it. You might look at it and just say, well, let's draw a box around it, because that's what kanjis are supposed to they're supposed to have boxes around them. Now you look at it, you're gonna kinda notice right off the bat, you can draw a line right down the middle. There's a left side and a right side. You can just draw that line right down the middle. Also, you're gonna kinda notice that you can kind of draw a line, let's use a, use a different color, you can kind of draw a line here, there's a big gap right there. In fact, you could kind of draw another line right here, if I had drawn this more properly, it would look about the same, like this green line would have gone all the way through. In fact, let's try to make that point more clear by redrawing it. Do -do 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 -do. Well, that looks hideous, whatever. Just go with it. We can divide this kanji into four spaces. You see how we have four spaces, top left, bottom left, top right, bottom right? And each one is sort of a radical. In actuality, some of them aren't radicals. But you know, you're kind of looking at this as a beginner and you're thinking, hmm, I see 18,000 different radicals in there. Ha 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 ha, because I'm awesome. But we need to figure out which one's the real radical. This guy isn't his own radical. Sorry, bra. You're not a radical. This dude is. So is this guy. So since we have two out of four, that must be the right radical, right? Not really, not really, not really. The actual radical is on the left. We learned it today. This entire speak kanji. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just a rule of thumb, not to be set in concrete, but a rule of thumb, this guy right here. When you see a kanji that can be divided horizontally, or sorry, vertically like this, into two halves, side by side, the left side very frequently, maybe 50 some odd plus 1% of the time, is the main radical. Not always, just a rule of thumb. Left side is usually the main radical. So, you're going to bust open your kanji dictionary, available on the resource page, check it out. And you're going to flip over to the back, and there's going to be a bunch of radicals. I told you earlier today that this radical is number, what was it, number 149? Sorry if my bald head's shining on you. So you're going to look in the back where all the radicals are. Look up radical 149. Ta-da, radical 149. And then we're going to try to identify how many extra strokes there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you didn't catch that, don't worry about it. There are seven residual strokes. So we go to the area that has seven. See, here's a 149. We only get down to six here, so we're going to move all the way up to number seven up here. And we're going to look for our kanji. Can you see it? There he is. Number 1040. In this book, he's number 1040. This is not always true. In different books, they are different numbers. The radicals generally stay the same. The number in which the kanjis are entered into a book are generally different. We flip our page open to number 1040. Bada bing, bada boom. That's how we find them. If you don't know how to pronounce a kanji, that's generally how you do it. See you next time on Evan's Easy Japanese. If you're having fun with these lessons slash learning something, please donate. I haven't, I don't think I've gotten a single donation yet. Oh, my belly is so empty. I'm kidding. I'm actually doing quite fine. Um, but hey, have fun learning Japanese. See you guys next time.